with Harvard or George Washington University or Georgetown or any of the other universities that like to examine this topic ask it, they just assume that the, they're, they're approaching that question as if it's a question, but they, they generally believe that the answer is um, yes. It is an oxymoron. Um, you like to hear about, and this is something that I hear every day when you're working with political candidates or um, <laughs> any other figure that's in the public eye, is initially the way that they approached the internet, and I, I hope it's changing, is when the internet became a big part of our, um, they started to recognize that it was a part of our democracy, they took kind of this cower and fear approach, which was, let's run away, the internet is only about danger. Um, when you had events uh, like the Dan Rather uh, scandal in 2004, the Macaca moment in 2006, it kind of proved their theory and, and made them want to run. However, I think the question of is you know, social media and civility an oxymoron is kind of like asking is you know, are, are mankind and civility an, an oxymoron? Um, what's happening with, with social media is the, the internet is starting to um, mirror the way that we live our, our lives offline. And so the same way that you know, we have incivility um, offline, we're gonna have um, you know, uncivil action going on online and of course there's you know there as soon as people see the opportunities that there are or excuse me kind of the, the nature of the internet where there is anonymity um there's this ability to freely express yourself there's initially there's going to be this hump which we've had where people get really excited and they take that opportunity to start throwing pot shots and you know exposing um exposing you know weird pictures when it's not the candidates doing that themselves <laughs> or or doing the gotcha the gotcha videos, um, because it's this you know they're, it's like their eyes have been opened to this opportunity to do so, and there's this new medium for doing so. But I I, I just don't believe kind of short answer to the question of does social media or social media and civility an oxymoron? I think the answer is no. Um, if anything, it's on balance the same as as a pre social media era. Um, you know, or it's it's actually making us more civil because we're held more accountable. And so, you know, I, I think it, it'll be interesting. Um, we're right in the midst of this social media era, but it will be interesting to study after some time whether social media is actually making us more civil, which I tend to have the hypothesis that it is, or at least in politics, making us more civil. Um, with you know, I, I challenge you all kind of to Google the um, look up on on YouTube. The, a video called Attack Ads, circa 1800. Um, it's, it was a really good video that was put out around the 2010 elections, um, kind of in, in answer to this question of is social media making us less civil, um, showing just how negative campaigns were in the 1800s and how, negatives campa how negative campaigns have been over time. Um, still, campaigns are, are clearly negative, but if we take a look at you know, even things as simple as Speaker John Boehner and President Obama going to play golf together, you know those kinds of those kinds of incidents are not decreasing because we're in a digital media era where there's the ability to throw pot shots. I think, if anything, they're increasing.